it, Professor. We are here to stop your doomsday machine. And once we've stopped your evil plans, you villains are going to spend a very long time in jail. It looks like you heroes won't quit unless we give you a um, uh, demonstration of our power. Universal Doomsday Machine Countdown Initiated. Retrofill destruction will commence in five minutes and counting. Have a nice day. Once started, it can't be stopped, you see. I never got around to finishing the, um, um, override switch. Are you crazy? You'll destroy yourselves, too. Oh, no, Danny, I assure you. We are quite safe inside this protected capsule. Even fairies couldn't save you now, Turner! We've got to disable that doomsday machine! What kind of amateurs do you think we are? Fishbowl. <laughs> right. It won't be that easy for you. Computer, activate the, uh, um, you know, uh, doomsday defense systems. Well, welcome everybody. Let's play. <laughs> oh dear. It turns to night. So, here we are at our final boss. I also just want spoiler to say spoiler to say it's the final boss, but eh, it's kind of obvious at the same time. Anyways, how does this thing work again? So every time you smash one of those panels, it will move some ground things around. What if I smash you? That don't I want? Oh no, it won't. I don't really recall there being much of an indication of what you need to do in regards to which switch you want to hit. Does this tell me? Oh, yeah, I figured that out already. Oh, okay. Anyways, you might notice me saying it's just a tad nasal. I happen to be rather under the weather, but not as bad as I was yesterday. Yesterday, I couldn't even understand my breakfast, but now I'm okay. Jump. What? If I'm supposed to destroy that first. Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever. That works. Anyways. Yes, yesterday I could not understand at all, basically. So everybody each has their own shield. Its own shield generator, in fact. So if you take out their generator, that respect the respective villain's shield will go down, and you can just wail on them. So all I can do is just kind of gyrate in an awkward way that somehow it doesn't make them nauseous. Anyways, I'm not sure at their whole point of my uh, dark play with us. I'm not sure this whole point of the whole idea of can I just run back here? I think I just run back here and then flip switch gain so I can take out Vlad. Am I small? Yes, I was. Okay. Yeah, I'll automatically switch it to the villain that will be exposed if you turn off the shield. Darn it. Well, whatever, I was charging attack. It stopped being charged when I got hit. But now I'm mostly functioning properly. I just have a really stuffy nose and something of a headache. And I'm feeling chilly, so I have a blanket. But that's really inconsequential. I'll just enjoy having my Vader Zim throw blanket, I guess. So I'm not really sure what it is that these guys want to do with actually destroying the worlds. I thought they just wanted to rule the over all of them. Which should generally necessitate the not. It uh, really would be easier if you could see the camera here, too. Or if you could move the camera. This is kind of hard to tell if the switches I have hitting are doing anything that I want or not. I think that did something I wanted. Oh, ow. This also isn't very dramatic final boss music, but oh well. Go away. See, so the thing is, you don't actually need to link all of these, I don't think. Or, well, the last one wasn't. Is there actually a last one to be linked? I don't know if I just crossed a gap or not. Oh, SpongeBob, get over here. And each one will also require you 
need to use a certain uh, character, of course. I'm not exactly surprised that they'd want you to do that. Although, if there actually is a gap that's not supposed to be there, I'm not sure if the gap is there right now is supposed to be there or not. But sort of can't jump that gap, which he can't, darn it. I don't think I can. That means Unless well, Danny went across. Where's Danny? I'll cheat. So drop. Over here. Ow, darn it. Stop that. What I can do is this. He can't make bombs right now. Apparently, he can't make bombs while small. Have Danny pick that up and then throw that to this thing. No. There we go. Ow. That hit me too, apparently. I don't know if your ball bombs can hurt you or not. But, anyways, that, I'm pretty sure not it's supposed to, I just did right now, but the developers made the mistake of actually showing. What? It's just they showing me that you can do that earlier on, so... In a nice little puzzle, so whatever. Now if I have to hit that switch again, which I'm definitely going to have to. God, go away! I'm not going to have to bring the ball on with her again, so things will be a little bit easier this time around. I'm not sure why it is I would have to destroy... Well, I don't know why it is that you managed to somehow... I don't know why your idea of destroying this Doomsday device is just punching its occupants a few times. Uh, I think I'd have to attack a machine, not the people in it, but... Whatever. I guess there's also a sense of satisfaction that kind of comes from... putting a fist in the face of the people that are causing the problem, too. Ow. I wish everything didn't stun me for so long, though. Also, the rain, the hitbox to these guys is ginormous. I can punch him from almost the other side of the... Oh, okay. I can punch him from almost the other side of... Ground pound, please. Of the rain, and I'll still get hurt by it. Which is more humorous than anything. Okay, so Crocker. So Crocker is going to be. All right, dealt with green. So yellow then. That one I cannot cross the board. So I'm guessing that this one's going to require me to use Jimmy or Timmy. Neither of which, I'll, well, I'll be able to. Uh, I don't think that's what I want to turn. Nope, no, it's exactly what I want to turn. Neither of which I'll be able to do anything with. Uh, Danny to fix though. Oh, I can't ground pound if I'm small, seriously. I can't do anything if I'm small, actually. I literally cannot do a single thing right now other than move and jump. That's interesting. What's Danny using all his energy on? Why does the AI Jimmy keep using all of his energy? I was kind of worried about this episode being short, but given how long it seems to be right now, just from He's screwing around. Come on, let me hit you again. I haven't entirely understood how these bonds work. I figured it was something along the lines of you hit a button, and why is this one stuck down? Not arm. It looked like it was stuck down, but okay. But my idea was that each one that you would hit, or each button that you would hit, would just toggle rotation of one layer of platforms, which may or may not be the case. I'm not too sure. It's kind of hard to pay attention, especially when you can't actually see what's going on, because you can't make the camera look at the thing you're trying to change. Okay, so now I just have one more platform on that one, which I'm guessing corresponds to this one, this button back here, since nothing else seems to have been changing that one. There we go. So it should be Jimmy or Timmy. In fact, I think it'll be Timmy. Since this is Crocker.
Yeah, there we go. No, it's not. Demi, be quiet. Boom. There we go. Snow Crocker came out. I mean, it is fun to beat up Crocker, if anything, even though he's not actually really doing anything. Also, I think it's kind of odd that you see him in his weird fairy armor in the top right, even though he's not actually wearing it, but oh well. Certain discrepancies are negligible, I guess, like Danny not having a D on his chest in the title screen. I had no idea. Or... Go away. What? It? <laughs> or <laughs> Timmy not even having the same weapon, as well as Cosmo being duplicated on one level. Anyway, so once you got gone rid of all the shields, this path is opened up. We just need to actually align everything. Just wonder, is everything aligned right there for that that platform? I can't see right now. And there should be really, there should really be louder effects for the explosions on this game. I feel so anticlimactic because there's basically no sound for explosions at all, which makes it not very satisfying. Come on, what's the point of knockback if I can't knock an enemy off the ledge? Okay, so now I think we've got. No, I'm not sure. If that did what I want it to or not. That did. And I have one more platform to take care of now. Which would hopefully be this one. I don't think it was. No. Send this. Jimmy, hit the button. Jimmy! Send this last part right here should solve it. It's not very entertaining or dramatic or interesting fight. I, you don't even really get to see how the Doomsday Machine is. You just kind of get told, here, we're at the Doomsday Machine. You don't even, like, journey to it. You just kind of appear there. What? And then you fight everybody in spheres, I guess. God, I'm stuck. Or are you just like fighting old people? Well, I guess Plankton and. I guess Flat isn't very old either. And I was actually in Calaris on the other side of the ring. I'm amused that I can do this. And. Oh! Okay. I guess that's. not a break in. immersion at all. Not that this is a very immersive game, but still. Uh, sure. Save, I guess. Thanks. I don't believe it. You've defeated our defense system. That's right. You've taught me a valuable lesson in teamwork, Professor. But the lesson ends here. Oh, not quite, Jimmy Neutron. You may have defeated me, but the Doomsday Machine is still going to destroy Retroville, and you can't stop it. <laughs> oh no! There are only 30 seconds left! What are we gonna do? Come on, Brain. Think, think, think! It took us way longer than 30 seconds. Or, four and a half minutes to take that out. Configure the plasma flux and reverse the polarity. But there's no time. What are we gonna do? What happened? It worked. No, I um uh never finished the backup power supply. 
Way to go, SpongeBob! <laughs> it's over. You saved the day. Clarence actually grew up here for the jail black and hole. The rest of the syndicate in your custody. I think it's time we go our separate ways. But take these neutron recallers with you. If anything like this happens again, we can work together to resolve it. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome to visit me in Bikini Bottom anytime you like. Guess I should get going. Don't want to lose my job at the Krusty Krab. Mr. Krabs would fire you after you saved his life? Nah, but if I'm not there on time, he starts charging me for wasting his time. Sometimes I have to work all day just to break even, but I love working there. So long, guys. Hop. Well, I guess it's my turn to say goodbye. Here, Jimmy, I I've got something for you. Something to remember me by. And you never know when it might come in handy. Thanks, Danny. With this, I can figure out what those phantasmal projections really were. Um, Vlad's not still in there, is he? No, he's in this one. I, I borrowed your matter duplicator to make that copy. <laughs> Flight. It's good to see you again, Timmy, but we should probably say goodbye. Thanks for lending me this hypercube. I'll let Crocker out once we get back to Dimsdale. Bye, Timmy. I'm missing you already. <laughs> ah, life is almost back to normal. Just one more thing to take care of. Cindy, get out of my lab! She was always the most uncanny looking Jerry Neutron character to me, at least in her original design. I don't know why they still have her movie design in this game, but whatever. My, I couldn't really hear most of those cutscenes because my s speakers are really bugging out right now. Like, if there was music right now, I can't hear it at all, but oh well. So I like how they had a nice little sequel hook of sorts with uh, Jimmy getting everybody a little communicator, but... Okay, so I'm occasionally hearing like little bouts of like really loud, staticky noise that vaguely resembles music. I'm kind of amused by how suck my speakers are. I think the cable is just loose, but it's kind of funny. Anyways, so I don't really have much to say about this game that I haven't already said. I, I think this game is kind of blatant in how not as much effort was put into it as it could have been, but at the same time I have respect for it anyways because of what became of it afterwards, or what became of the series that eventually spawned. Well, no eventually became the series of Spawn, but the two games afterwards at least. Because this did uh, result in two pretty nice games being created. The last of the game after that was less so, but I'll get into that when we get to it, maybe. I honestly don't know if I'll actually do it. Tom Kenny! But anyways. Mr. Lawrence. I recognize some voice actors. Anyways. So, that having been said, ah, oh, THQ, how I miss you so. I'm surprised, they made a lot of decent licensed content. But anyways, this game could have been done better, but it did result in things that were done better. I guess the d studio just saw us as enough of a success of a game to be worth creating a s bigger budget sequel with more work put into it afterwards with actual, like, interesting, optional content that I'll be getting to sometime soon for you guys to see. That game would be Nicktoons... Oh, what is it? Battle for Volcano Island, I believe. Battle for Volcano Island is actually a pretty fun game. I actually haven't played the game in a really long time. It's the game in this Nicktoons series I'm actually the least familiar with, unfortunately. I also think it's most difficult to actually get everything in, but, oh well. It's fun regardless, I think, and it's an interesting theme to it. You'll I mean, you probably guess what that is, just from the name. But it's worth the time, I think, so I'll definitely play that, even though I'll have to brush up on my skills on it a little bit, just recalling what everything is. I'm probably not going to play it through it kind of blindly like I did in this game, where I just hadn't played the game in years and just played it anyways, not really not remembering what I was getting into. What I'll probably do with that game, Battle for Volcano Island, is I'll actually play through it off camera before I play through it on camera again. So then I'll actually know what I'm doing. But, anyways, I mostly just got into this game so I could get into this whole series so I could play 
third installment, Attack of the Toy Bots, which is by far my favorite. For a number of reasons, we'll see. Stephen Hillenberg! Well, and now the music is working fine. Cool. Oh, and now we're on the main menu. <laughs> Anyways. So I guess that's that, then. If that's just going to be everything. Not a very climactic ending, either. I really don't think that much of anything was executed exceptionally well in this game. I don't think it, it, there are too many things that are executed exceptionally badly. But it's a mediocre game, I think. Maybe worth the time. I get so sick of this title sequence. Maybe worth the time, maybe not. But whatever you think, I think it landed into some games that are indeed worth the time. I'll show those off. There are, are apparently aren't that many playthroughs of those of this entire series on YouTube, actually, which I wasn't aware of when I started this playthrough, so I'm kind of happy to see that in the sense that I'm kind of giving this game a little, some degree of attention, at least. I, I know that only so many people watch the stuff I make, but even still, just having, like, I don't know, even 50 people know about a thing I think is nice. No one to know about otherwise is pretty nice, I think. I love doing that for games like uh, Graffiti Kingdom and... What else? Blinks the Time Sweeper. But anyways, trailers. I probably shouldn't be showing any of these. Oh, hey, lights are going to bounce. Probably shouldn't show any of these. Credits for the cross save? No, not credits. Trailer for the cross save? I don't want to look at that, but at the same time, that's probably going to be this something game. that... No, go away. Yeah, I don't think I can get away with showing a trailer on my channel. But, uh, anyways, I guess that rather intergalactic finish is going to be it for this entire playthrough of Let's Play Nicktoons Unite. So I, with only one functional nostril, thus impacting the sound of my voice, will say goodbye to you people. Look at that, 100%. I mean, just go wherever. They can't go to the lab, which is annoying. But, not really much reason to, anyways. Not much of a hub, though, in that you can't really go to places from there. Not many, at least. You just go to the next level from there. You don't really do much there, either. There's why by a lot of things in this game. But, more things happen later that I'm not disappointed by. And I know I've said that many times already, but I think now I'll actually get to show you guys what I'm talking about. So, those of you who have stuck with me, or those of you who just aren't watching this playthrough, but might watch another playthrough of another game in the series. I'll see you guys then. Bye.